Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Why is ex parte communication illegal? Ex parte communication refers to any oral or written communication made without proper notice to all parties and not on the public record. This type of communication is generally prohibited in legal and administrative proceedings to ensure fairness and due process. In judicial settings, judges are not allowed to consider ex parte communications unless expressly permitted by law. This ban is in place to ensure that judges make decisions based solely on the evidence and arguments presented in court and that all parties have equal access to the information. The prohibition on ex parte communications is designed to preserve the integrity of the decision-making process. It prevents any party from influencing the judge or decision-maker without the other parties being aware of or able to respond to the communication. This helps maintain public trust in the legal and court system. In administrative proceedings, federal law specifically prohibits ex parte communications directed to executive or independent agency officials on the merits of matters under their formal consideration. The government in the Sunshine Act of 1976 has been instrumental in enforcing this prohibition, ensuring that all communications related to formal agency adjudications are on the record and accessible to all parties. Violations of the ex parte communication rule can result in significant sanctions. A party or attorney who makes a prohibited ex parte communication may face sanctions, including exclusion from the proceedings or an adverse ruling on the issue in question. Judges or decision makers who engage in such communications can also face disciplinary actions. Ex parte communications can undermine the fairness of a judicial or administrative proceeding by introducing new information to the decision maker without giving the other party an opportunity to respond. This can lead to due process violations, particularly if the communication affects the outcome of the case. While ex parte communications are generally prohibited, there are exceptions for certain administrative functions or emergency situations. For example, in cases involving emergency restraining orders, ex parte motions may be allowed, but these are typically followed by a full hearing with all parties present. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.